what's up guys so as you can tell from my last video I was hinting around to a few things I've uh, done recently so uh, what I've done this year and since that last video is I bought a brand new truck it's a 2020 Freightliner Coronado uh, it's the glider kit it comes with the 12 uh, the 127 Detroit it's the last year they're making them so uh, I had decided it was just time to go ahead and get a new truck and uh, keep moving forward with my business and uh, my personal goals so without getting too much into detail right now let's go ahead and uh, show you the truck and show you uh, give you a quick tour of the inside and uh, show you kind of how I have it set up which uh, you know I haven't been in it too long so it's just you know some stuff isn't why I want to keep it and there's some things I want to change about it but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick look through of it and uh, then at the end of the video I'll discuss what made me go ahead and uh, do that now and what my plans are for the future and you know from now on out how am I uh, how am I going to continue running my business and what are my goals for my business so uh, without further ado I want to show you the truck all right guys so I'm recording this on my uh, GoPro I've got the curtains closed I'm actually taking a 34 right now but uh you know it's got the the wood grain uh, panels on the front let's see if you can see that and then you know it's got the the uh, classic gauges I did go with the, the brown leather that's just something I've always wanted in a truck uh, that might make it easier to see actually right now so go ahead and do that the steering wheels come with this nice uh, wood grain which I actually like a lot uh, but comes with the 13 speed I've got some paperwork over here on the on the uh, chair right now I've just got my water stored right there but uh, so far I'm really liking the truck uh, it's just yeah this brown color has always been one of my favorites um, I actually almost bought a pickup truck a couple years ago just because it was black exterior with the uh, the brown interior which you know I really like but uh I feel like it has a lot more room than my last truck did especially like earlier today I was sitting in the floor right here and uh, I was sweeping it out and everything but so that's the front of the truck I've also got storage up here because uh, this is a double bunk truck which you'll see in the few uh, in a few minutes but I've got the cabinets over here this whole compartment here and then uh, another compartment up there I've got my CB radio in this hole right here, which I don't know if I've ever showed y'all my CB. It's the uh, Magnum S6. Uh, I actually just went and bought two Wilson uh, 2000s for this truck. Uh, since it came with a, a couple mounted on the mirror, I took those off and just put that on. I think it's gonna do really well. You know, for the company I'm working for right now, PeopleNet is required or electronic logs are required but uh, so as of right now I'm running that I did have to drill a hole in the in the back for the cords to run through and then they ended up mounting it right there the because uh, it comes with a box on the inside and then they ran all the cords underneath the because uh, if you've never been in Coronado the um, the ECM not the ECM the, uh, the little plug-in diagnostic port is right here on the side so they ran it underneath the carpet over to there but uh, I got them to throw in some some floor mats for me some Freightliner floor mats on both sides help keep it a little clean uh, but overall I'm pretty happy with the truck and how I have it set up uh, right here up on the top I've got you know some quaker oats i started eating healthy again right now so you know i got the quaker oats some some white bread which i know isn't healthy and 
that's some of my uh, cooking supplies. You know, I got the paper plates, a ladle, uh, cutting knife, cutting board, and uh, you know, an apple up there, and some silverware. This is kind of my odds and ends place right now. Like, uh, you know, obviously I wear this every day. I got my checkbook underneath there, my tablet, and uh, my GoPro bag. It's all got the uh, the uh, wood grain around it, which I definitely, I, I'm a fan of it. And then uh, under here, you got another little place you can set stuff. Um, obviously, I didn't put my Gatorade up before the video. Sorry about that. I've got my my Tevas and my uh, my vacuum cleaner behind this chair right now. And then we open this. I've got all my cleaning supplies. I've got some trash bags, some Ziploc bags. And then in the bottom is what I use to cook my um, copper my copper chef pan, which I'm a big fan of. I went ahead and put in a uh, a rug just to keep my carpet clean. Plus, I think it looks nice, and you know, I got my bed. Uh, I think it, you know. I still need a uh, what's one of those? Uh, a comforter, but right now I'm just using a sleeping bag and you know some old blankets. But over here on this side, I've got the refrigerator. Um, and then it has the pull-out desk. You just use this little yellow latch right there. And you pull it out. Then I've got odds and ends stuff in here. This flips up. Which I don't know why it flips up this way. You'd figure if you're sitting down doing your paperwork, you'd want it to flip up that way. But I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, I've just got some paper towels I left back here after I got done cooking this morning but I usually put those up here uh, my CPAP machine which I'll probably make a, uh, a video about that and the rules for that but because uh, as I've been learning lately there's a lot more rules since the last time I had my uh, medical card done and then yeah up here I've got the tall one and it comes with you know two little cubby holes I've got some folded clothes, all my clean folded clothes right there, and then a, uh, a pole up at the top. I've got the fold down bunk, which honestly, I think I've only folded it done, down once, but it, it's pretty nice with that little twisty knob, and you know, it's got plenty of room up there, I think. Plus, you know, I'm short, so when I sat down, I'm five foot seven and I've got plenty of room right here. But uh actually that isn't bad to leave down. I thought about getting a, a bigger freezer and maybe setting it up there, building a shelf, but honestly, I think I like the wide open space a lot more. Uh, you know, my international had the uh the mid roof, so it did have shelving all up and down the sides, but this one just feels way bigger. I mean, almost everything about it seems a lot bigger. And then you just push that up. But we got windows up at the top, windows down at the bottom. And also my first truck with the door, which actually comes in handy Um, it actually comes in handy when you're cooking because I'll open that up and kind of, you know, let a breeze come through and hopefully don't steam the place up. But uh, that's another good thing I like about the copper pan. You put the top on it. You don't get grease everywhere. But uh, that's about it for the truck. Uh, I'm not going to show you the outside of the truck. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, GoPro died while I was uh, filming that. But... Pretty much what I was saying at the end is uh, that was about it for the inside of the truck. Uh, I'm not going to show you the uh, a video of the outside of the truck. I do have pictures of uh, from when I first bought it, uh, so uh, I'll put those pictures in here. But 
I don't want to show the outside of the truck because it has my, you know, uh, my company logo and everything on there, and I'm just not sure exactly how uh, my company that I'm leased to feels about that. So I'd rather just, you know, not do that. But uh, I'll show you the pictures of the outside of the truck. It's uh, a white uh, Coronado, and then it's got the uh, the fenders painted red all the way down to the uh, the uh, quarter fender in the back. All that's red. Now, uh, I paid extra when I bought it and I had it painted red because, you know, I, I just think that looks really, really nice. And uh, also, the, some of the trailers I pull have red, uh, red writing on them. So I think it's going to go well with those trailers. And uh, also paid a little extra to have a... Uh, a, uh, a herd bumper put on however as I'm making this video it's uh, it March 7th and I've yet to receive that bumper I uh, I think it was like you know an extra five or six thousand dollars I got the, the big herd defender bumper the first one that came in uh, because I had them tacked on to the price of the truck the first one came in to uh, Freightliner and whoever was shipping it had dropped it and damaged it so it was uh like scuffed up on the ends and it had like slight dents on it looked like somebody dropped out of the back of the truck and uh so there was that and then uh then they had claims issues getting that that taken care of so Last I talked to them about two weeks ago, they told me it was ordered and it should be on its way. So hopefully next time I'm home, uh, I can get that put on the truck. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for the truck. Underneath the bed, I, I just realized I didn't show you, you guys that either. On the driver's side of the truck underneath the bed is usually where I keep like uh, my gloves to check my oil. Uh, I keep a little uh, fifth wheel grease. I keep a couple of the big tubs of fifth wheel grease and I'll lube that up especially uh, when I'm up here in the northwest I pull a lot of different trailers so uh, I try to keep a couple things with me and then uh, that's also where I had my inverter installed which uh, you know the batteries are right under my uh, right under my seat and then so it was a, a quick shot into there and then I've got an inverter that uh, you know I can cook with also power my uh, CPAP machine and everything and then in the middle I kind of keep my my luggage and all my bags uh, and I'm also keeping my dirty clothes down there and then on the right hand side uh, by on the right hand side the passenger side is usually where I keep all my dirty clothes but right now I've got uh, uh, like six or four gallons of oil. I bought a box of oil when I was home last. Uh, they were on sale for like seven bucks, so I went ahead and bought six gallons, which was all I could buy, uh, you know, for that melon rebate or whatever. So I got six gallons of the Mobile Delvac for like seven something a piece, and I mean you can't really beat that. So I went ahead and bought that. What I do like about this truck. Okay, well I guess I'll tell you what I some of the do's and don'ts that I figured out already since I have drove it. I think right at 20,000 miles, I think it's 20,000, 20,480 miles is what I have on it now. So some of the things uh, I don't like, I'll start with that, is uh, the cup holders. So they're perfect for cans and honestly, that's about it. I've got a big tumbler, I think it's what, what is that like a 30 ounce tumbler um, it wiggles around and moves a lot it's I mean it's not big enough to fit in there snugly and it's not small enough to fit in the uh, smaller part where the cans go my bottled water if you put a new bottled water in there it flips out so that's another thing like, the cup holders I don't know why they do it like that or back in the day I don't know I don't I have no clue why it's like that but that's one of my um, pet peeves another well, 
honestly, as of right now, I think that might be the only, the only thing I've uh, got to complain about. Everything else seems pretty good on the truck. Uh, like I said earlier, I feel like there's way more room in here than, uh, than my international. Uh, like I can sit in the floor, I feel you know a lot more spacious when I'm you know moving around, digging in cabinets and stuff. Uh, I do only have one cigarette or 12 volt port up in the front, which seems kind of weird. That was another thing that I wasn't a huge fan of. Uh, and then the uh, the clipboard or the uh, the desk opens up the backwards so that's that's all I can really think of right now I don't know what else I would add maybe here in a you know a few thousand miles or a few months I'll do an updated video of what I like and don't like again but some of the things I do like like I said I feel like it has a lot more space it's got the double bunk which, you know, shouldn't be a big deal, but in the future, if like a family member wants to come with me, I think it's nice to have that extra bunk bed for them. Uh, you know, I love the interior. It just, it, I feel like it's brighter, you know. The other one was like just that gray color, that grayish blue color throughout the whole thing, which, you know, it's all right, but it can get old. Right now, I'm really, I'm really digging how this is set up. Uh, you know, I like the bright colors. I think there's plenty of room in here, I think. Uh, I have, I don't have to keep all like all my oils and stuff, like uh, engine oil and stuff underneath my bed. I mean, also I've got that brand new box, but most of the other stuff and all my tools I keep in uh, side boxes. This truck has a battery box under this uh, this seat, and then it has an empty box under the passenger seat, and then it's got two boxes right in front of the uh, rear axle. <coughs> so uh, in those boxes, I keep my chains. I keep two sets of uh, chains on each side, which I have I actually bought the double chains for this truck. And then uh, I keep my tools in there and all my oils and fluids and everything I keep back there locked up and it's uh, it's weather tight and I don't have to keep all that underneath my uh, my truck or underneath my bed and, you know maybe that's going to help without me smelling it and everything but that was another good thing I like the way it looks uh, I think they look really nice it's a little different you still see you see quite a bit of them out but it's still to me it's it feels different you know so uh, I really like that I like the 127 I went with the, the glider uh, the pre emissions because I don't run you know I don't run California or the Northeast so I shouldn't have a problem with that uh, I just feel like it's going to be a lot less maintenance uh, than a standard, you know, DD15 or whatever you've got now. I don't have any of that. You know, this is a pre-emissions truck. I think the engine's out of a 1997 Freightliner. I've got a little piece of paper on it that, you know, states everything about it. And uh, this is a Freightliner glider. I didn't get it from uh, Fitzgerald or uh, Harrison or anybody. It's a, uh, you know, it's all Freightliner remanned and. Uh, built so I'm really excited about it I did have a couple of problems when I first got the truck I think something was wrong with my turbo on my first trip so I brought it back the fin was cracked that's what it was and they put a new one on it I took it out for my next trip I wasn't getting any uh, I wouldn't get any boost I think it was boosting up to like 15 or 18 something like that and I couldn't pull the hills worth of shit. I took it back. They put a brand new turbo on for me. And uh, also, I've had a problem with, uh, like I told you, I got it painted when I first bought it. So it's 
uh, red on the fenders were at the front from some reason every time like every little pebble hit it was taking chunks of paint off so they're actually next time I come into town they're going to uh, uh, they're gonna put the bumper on the front for me and they're gonna paint the uh, repaint the truck for me so which the, both of those things I paid extra for when I bought it uh, I think the total came out to about hundred and sixty one thousand dollars for the uh, you know 2020 Freightliner Coronado glider with uh, the custom paint job and the uh, herd bumper on the front which uh, you know I was willing to accept that and that's why I'm in it now I do think uh, I do think it's gonna help me in the long run you know I'm not gonna have to worry as much about maintenance for the next you know 300,000 miles so it kind of gives me uh, a little a little more peace of mind for one and then you know I kind of wanted a truck I could be proud of you know like I, obviously I liked my other two trucks or I wouldn't have bought them they were you know I think they worked for me the international was really good to me other than you know when I first got started and that was covered under warranty with the engine rebuild but other than that that international worked out really good for me uh, and you know going into this I had to sit down and think it's going to be like a, a 10 year plan for me now so uh, it's going to take me five years to pay off this truck I'm 29 years old so in five years you know I'll be 34 let's just say 35 and uh, this truck should be paid off and at the minimum for my you know my mentality I was thinking okay if I want it let's say I want it to be done over the road trucking in 10 years well in five years I'd have the truck paid off and then I can uh, it's not going to cost as much to rebuild the truck if I ever need to or we, I mean if I'm gonna keep this a lifetime then you know I'm probably I'm gonna have to rebuild the engine and you know so on and so forth along the along the way but I can stay full-time trucking for 10 years and I think this truck will do it so if I want to reach a 10-year mark I figure if I bought this now you know I have it paid off in five years it would definitely last me another five years and it's just something I've always wanted I wanted a new truck you know I've never bought a, a brand new vehicle you know all my vehicles I bought pre-owned my last two tractor trailers I bought pre-owned and I just think it's something you know you can take pride in when you when you buy something new you're gonna you know make it last you're gonna make it work you're gonna take care of it keep it nicer and this is hopefully the last truck I ever have to buy I guess is what I'm saying so I bought that with that my uh, that in mind so whatever breaks I'm gonna get fixed just like my other trucks and I'm just gonna keep doing that you know and like I said it doesn't have any of the mission stuff so I'm never gonna really have to worry about that so the the rebuilds are a lot simpler the maintenance is a lot simpler it's cheaper to get the oil change I figured that out already I mean it's just a whole bunch of positives mechanically which is going to make this truck better in the future so the long-term investment to me makes more sense but I didn't rehearse this video or anything so I may be messing stuff up and screwing things up so bear with me but uh, that's just some of my thoughts on this truck and uh, one of the reasons why I went ahead and the reasons I went ahead and bought the truck now and uh, I actually still have my other two trucks which uh, I'm gonna privately sell uh, I'm just getting them cleaned up right now I've been real busy I've been staying out a lot but uh, once I'm back home I'm gonna you know take pictures put them online and uh, hopefully get them sold and out of my hair but that should be about it thanks for sticking around and uh i hope you liked the video if you did 
please give it a thumbs up go down and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and go ahead and send a comment too and uh, let me know what you think I appreciate you watching have a good day